Who has not dreamt of going to the moon? We had parked on a parking space in Husavik when a man who recognized us from social media came up and asked us if we wanted to go to the moon without TGE. So what do you answer to that? Of course we want. Because of its stunning landscape, Iceland is often used as the perfect place for shooting space movies. Right where we are now, they shot the film Oblivion with Tom Cruise. Like most of you people out there, I've never really been to the moon. But having seen a lot of those space movies and then driving around here, you really get uh, that spacey feeling of being on the moon sometimes, in a, in a good way. It's a good thing that gravity is working properly and there's enough oxygen in our car for the whole trip. As a kid I was always fascinated with the space and especially the trips to the moon. But I had no clue that the astronauts that went to the moon, they were training basically in my backyard here. We are here in, in the area near to where the astronauts did most of their training. This area is a part of the Icelandic Highlands. NASA selected all of the best pilots from the military to train them as astronauts. And uh, they were great pilots, but they had no experience with geology. NASA knew that as soon as these astronauts would stand on the moon, they would have to function as scientists and geologists. So they sent them here for training. So you can say they trained for their flight in, in the US, but for what they actually did on the moon, they trained here. I was very surprised, firstly by the fact that they had come here, but also by the fact that no one was telling these stories. So uh, back in 2013 we did the first trip with one of these astronauts up to this area. Since then we have had five of the Apollo astronauts revisiting these sites. And of course it's unimaginable to be able to meet and, and get to know the people who actually went to the moon. I feel very lucky to be alive at this time in the human history because going to the moon happened uh, for about four years and then that was over and in just a matter of 10, 15, 20 years there will be no one alive in the world who actually has tried this, has gone to the moon and can tell stories from another world. It's estimated that about 107 billion people have ever walked the earth but only 12 people have ever walked on the moon. No one was telling the story of the astronauts, so this was an important story that I felt that needed to be told. So I dug deep into this and I found a lot of photographs, I found some uh, relics, some things that they had left behind while they were here. And eventually, of course, I got in contact with the astronauts themselves and they have been giving the museum some things of their own. In the next episode, we'll have a closer look at how our TGI performed in the tough and beautiful Icelandic environment. Yeah.